Well, here we are, Mississippi Outdoors. We're on Lake Washington today with a buddy of mine, Sean Atkins. And Sean and I, she, we've probably known each other since we were probably, what, seven, eight years old? Little kids, we grew up in the same subdivision. Yeah. I was in the grocery store in Clinton at Kroger, and we ran into each other. And, yeah, about a month ago. Yeah. And we just started talking about hand grabbing. So here we are, Lake Washington. And so let's get started. All right, so we got your son, Cody, and then your daughter's boyfriend, Dustin. Dustin Ingram. Dustin Ingram. So this is going to be the first spot we try for the day. The tree only has one hole. You go around the trees and you're just going around the tree looking for a hole for yeah, a Yeah, there's either a hollow tree, yeah. rotted out tree. It'll, there's a hole usually in the bottom or in the side or something. They'll go in and they, they, they what they want to do is a uh, female, male goes in, cleans out, female comes in, lays her eggs, he fertilizes them, she leaves, he stays and fans them and protects them. Oh. I remember that part. I didn't feel anything. You know, in Mississippi, it's illegal to put out anything but wood. Um, That's so right. we've got several boxes also. We do a lot of natural up here and then wood boxes. The fish is laying right here on the left hand side. I just felt him. Okay. <laughs> you get him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Good job. We're going to start the shallow water, then we're going to ease into some deeper that we use air. The reason why we do that is so people can't find their boxes, just to be honest with you. We move them out in deeper water. You know, once it's put in the water, it, anybody can grab it. It becomes public property. Even if they find it, it's too deep for them to run unless they scuba dive. With the new side imaging and all the technology that are available, it's so much easier. You know, kind of ethically, you would think somebody wouldn't, but there again, they check your stuff. You, you know, it's just part of it. How many years have you been hand grabbing, you think? I expect probably around 20. Uh, like in Lake Washington, for instance, these cypress trees grow, the bales have fingers off of them up off the bottom. Okay. And you can go up and find those holes and usually those fish have went in there and whooped the house out. Never so had. you run a cane in there and bump them and they usually come to you. Woo! Good job, Kevin. Good job. You know, it is yeah. an inherent danger yeah, in safe. doing yeah. what we're doing underwater. Um, but putting boxes out is a lot easier than natural. Natural, you have no idea. There you go. With boxes, there's no real danger in it other than turtles getting in there. See, okay. we, he had to bring in the turtles. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, are you? Huh? Where'd the fish go? Are you, are you putting both arms in there? Oh, uh, just one. Are you serious? <laughs> serious man. He's in there. How long have you been outdoorsman? Huh? How long have you been outdoorsman? Well, I always, like, this is how I fish. This is how I hunt. He just soaked in five gallons of air. <laughs> you might get him. Yeah! Got him. <laughs> oh. Out. Hey, I didn't know if I'd have to go to the store and get some fish sticks or not. You think there's another one in there? I know it's another one in there. Okay. Female. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. See the big old girth on her? It's awesome. Yeah, look at you. A little small male. Most of the time, the male will be much smaller than the females. Females are always the biggest fish. Those boxes, they're a lot bigger than I think. Because when I get my arm in there, when, when you go in there with a stick, you're, you're sticking your arm all the way in with the stick as far as you can That's go. That's right. Yeah. Now, a lot of times, I'll actually have the stick like this. Because okay. with the added length of my arm, that's about how deep the box is. Gotcha, okay. Now, it's much slower, and the water temperature is perfect. The surface is 87 degrees, and it's cool on the bottom. I mean, and we always get fish this time of year. So what do you think it is? Full moon. I'm going to say it's a full moon, or a camera, guys. Yeah. Well, sometimes these catfish or camera shaft. Yeah. The water is clearer this year here than I've ever seen it. Really? Yep. I was just 10 foot deep and could see my hand in front of me. Like that one of the fish we caught earlier, like you said, they get in there fan. Once they get in the box, they start fanning. They push all that sand back to the hole and you couldn't hardly get your hand in there. Sure. You, okay. you went down and dug it out That's right. so you could get the fish out. Yeah, a lot of times, even though it's only a five foot deep box, the fish may be eight foot back in there where they dug a hole up yeah. into the sand past the box. So, you know, if you walked up behind it, you're actually standing over the fish. Right. Because he's got a hole in the ground up underneath there. So that's what the fish are down there doing. 
and laying the eggs in there. And Sean was saying the female goes in there and puts the eggs, and then the male's coming in there and he's protecting, fertilizing. Everything we've been on today is all wood boxes. So what what'd you say you do, a sweet gum? Yeah, I go cut down sweet gum trees and take them to a sawmill and cut them green. Okay. And I make three foot by five foot boxes all screwed together. And then on one end, I put a 10 by 14 hole in them. And then you sink them with sandbags. I like sweet, uh, sweet gum because it just takes in so much water, it seems to sink easier. There you go. Will you go into the summer months? Season ends see. July 15th. Okay. But it's all really based on water temperature. With these hot days forecasted coming up, it's going to yeah. shorten the season up. So you said, I know we fish some shallow stuff, but you also got some deeper stuff. Like you said, the cooler water it, down It's deep. cooler. So the, the fish will spawn later into the cooler water, yeah. but eventually it'll all get to where it's warm enough and just turns them off, just like white perch do. They just sit, Yeah. You may go fish all day long and find one fish. I mean, it's literally like they just cut the switch off. Who do you think came up with hand grabbing catfish? Somebody that was starving to death, obviously. <laughs> who would have went and run their hand up and something? Yeah. I mean, just ha imagine how they had to stumble up on it. Because, you know, we know from the old timers. Right. Well, who did the old timers learn from? That's what I'm asking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. I mean, my, I know my dad never talked about hand grabbing. And, you know, it wasn't until the last few years that it seemed like it's really gotten popular. You know, a lot of kids these days that don't get outdoors in Mississippi, they think, you know, they think of fish, they think of fish sticks. You know, you and I are messing with you, but, That's right. yeah, they think fish come in a box, and this is where they come from right and, here. And, you know, to them, they do come in a box, but the truth is, get out of here in nature. Yep. That's one of God's creatures, and, and it's here for us to enjoy. All right, we're going to let this one go. And move on to the next. There we go. There's the fish. That was bigger than that. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit, boy. I can't hold my breath long enough. You want some air? No, I ain't never done that before. All newbies need air when it's only four foot deep. There you go. Yeah. I've only hand grabbed a few times, but I've never been with anybody that had, you know, air lines hooked up. But like Sean said, a lot of these spots on these trees and boxes, you got them in a little bit deeper water. Pretty cool. <laughs> My old channel, yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah, kiss them. So a hand grabbing tournament, what, what's the rules? What do they have to do? It depends on the tournament. It'll be like two, three fish, uh, four fish, or one fish stringer. Just depends on each tournament. And you catch the biggest fish, weigh your biggest fish, and hopefully. So the, the day, biggest fish of the day. Biggest fish of the day. Gotcha. Or the biggest stringer. So if you go fish like another state, you got to know where the spots are to fish. Well, no, you can find it. I mean, just like we were fishing in a body of water up in North Oklahoma that was flooded, and there used to be a bunch of houses in it, concrete slabs. You just dive down there and fill around them slabs. Got it? Go, 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 go. You let him go, didn't you? <laughs> just like <laughs> There he is. That got us sucked a good time. Probably saved his life. Probably so. Yeah. I mean, that hole is small. That's what I'm talking about. They get in that stuff that's so small and they can't get out. I'm going to try to get some of that late washing out of my mouth. I, I think I drank about two gallons of late washing. What about the other one in there? Is it no? I didn't, I didn't feel that. I see it. <laughs> that's the there you go. Ah! That's the male. That's the smaller one. <laughs> he did that on purpose, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep hold of it. Oh. That's pretty cool, ain't it? They're certainly strong. Yes, they I can are. imagine getting a 50 pound fish. 60, 70. They're rough. I can't They're imagine. They're way stronger. 
I'll tell you, they're eating the shit. Oh, it gotta be. The female, that's a little old male. Lake Washington, right here in Glen Allen, Mississippi, man. I tell you what, Sean, this has been awesome, brother. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Man, heck yeah. Hand grabbing. You boys got it figured out. I tell you what, you know, it's a lot harder than you think. I mean, it's been a long time since I hand grabbed. And there's an art to it. I mean, it's Absolutely. Like, I mean, it's like anything else you do, bow hunting or crappie fishing or bass fishing. It's, a, it's an art to it. Let me tell you what you guys have mastered it for sure. And it's a lot of fun and I exactly. hope the audience enjoys watching this. Maybe everybody will take a kid to go fishing. Hey, let me swap with you. I want to hold up your feet. Look at that. That's all the time we have for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Pamela Weaver. And I'm Kevin Meacham. See, see you outdoors. outdoors.